today is Shanti with Bamboo Leaf Tea. I want to take a little bit of time to talk to you about some really fabulous benefits in bamboo. And the number one thing that I want to talk to you about is silica. And that's what we're going to do this whole show on today is silica. So what's so great about silica and why should I have it in my tea? Why should I have it in my body? What, what do I need it for? Well, silica is responsible for a lot of different things. The essence of bamboo, when you think about the strong bamboo coming up and growing so fast and so strong, and yet having that beautiful flexibility that bamboo does, that is the essence of silica. So what silica is, is we are born with a lot of it. We are bouncy, we are flexible, we are strong, we heal really fast. Those are all essences of silica. As we get older, we don't have as much. We lose about 80% of we've used up by the time we get to adulthood about 80% of what we're start with of silica and so at that point we really need to add it in. Bamboo has the highest amount of silica of any plant in the world so traditionally we've used horsetail as the content for silica to getting it into our body. There's some vegetables that have silica in it, cucumbers, um, some other things Grains like millet and oatmeal also have silica in them, but we're not traditionally eating enough of them to really wash our body with a silica supplement that we need. So why do we need this? Well, silica is huge for hair, skin, and nails. That's what most people know it as, a beauty supplement. It's been known in Europe for a very long time for hair, skin, and nails. Why? Because your hair and your nails are 40% silica. So when you take silica into your body, it's going to affect it right away. Um, with your nails, you're going to see it within a couple of weeks by taking it every day because the nails grow faster. With your hair, it's going to take more like a couple of months because it just takes longer for your hair to really absorb it and to show something. Um, so that's been the traditional use for silica. The skin has been, it's been a supplement for because skin has a high amount of collagen and silica is a huge part of building collagen. So what are the new things that are coming out? Well, one of them is bone health. And bone health is really, really important, right? For all of us, it's what's keeping us standing upright. So bone health, bones are magnesium and silica and calcium and the silica is orchestrating all of those things together. You cannot have healthy bones without silica. So if you're taking a calcium supplement, and you don't have silica that you're adding in with it, it's not doing it. You know, you really need the silica with that. It's huge. It's a big thing. So we're not just talking about bones in our body, our skeletal bones. We're also talking the bones in our teeth right here. And these are also bones. And so if you have healthy bones, you have healthy teeth, and that's a huge part. So there have been studies that show that by taking silica you can even reduce the time that it takes to heal for fractures and, um, and breakages in your bone and those are some recent things that are coming out so really big benefits with your bones and also with muscles people who are really into working out athletes um, the muscle tissue and rebuilding that muscle after working out Silica is a huge part of that, so a lot of personal trainers are really into flushing their system with that silica and rebuilding the collagen and strengthening their muscles, strengthening their connective tissues, and making them just overall stronger, and that's a great benefit. And then we're also talking about um, aluminum. Now, this is something that's just starting to come into play. Um, there's been some recent studies that show that Alzheimer's patients have a high concentration of aluminum. If you're using deodorant, you're putting aluminum into your body. Um, aluminum comes in a lot of different forms that we're putting into our body that we don't even know about. So chances are th th there's no possible way that you don't have aluminum in your body. The problem is, is that our body can't get rid of it. So there's been some studies done that show that silica is actually reducing the absorption by your body of the aluminum. So that's a really big deal. And there's going to be more coming out about that. So get your silica, get it into your daily routine, build it into what you do, and check it out. www.bambooleaftea.com.